Hi everyone. What I'm making for you today is linguine aglia olia. But I have a different take on it. I don't know if anyone else does it, but when uh, I have the, the pasta ready, I put a little bit of oregano breadcrumbs on it. So I'm sauteing some garlic here. And I have a pot of water going for the pasta. And I have three cloves of garlic and fresh parsley here for the aglia So what I'm doing here is sauteing the garlic. Mmm, and nothing like the smell of garlic. So when the garlic starts to sizzle a little bit, I'm going to add breadcrumbs. Now, I don't know if, I, I, I think I've seen it somewhere, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't like to take credit for something that I didn't do, but my son seems to think that I'm the one that created this, but I don't think so. I've seen it somewhere. Anyway, so the garlic is sizzling. You see the little sizzles? And I wait for it to get a little bit brown on the edge. Not a lot, just a teensy weensy bit. So it's starting to sizzle. And I have my plain breadcrumbs here. No seasoned breadcrumbs, plain. And I have my grated cheese which is a staple in my home. We couldn't live without braided cheese. By the way, my grandson's videoing me now. It skipped a generation. So here we go. There it goes. You could put some parsley in here if you want, but my grandsons, they don't like to pick out the leaves. Or my granddaughter. There it goes, it gets a little, it's a little, little brown. Ah, and it's so fragrant. So we put the breadcrumbs in and some grated Parmigiano Reggiano, Lugadella Reggiano. Uh, I'd say about a half a cup, maybe more. I don't usually measure. So we put this and we mix it together and I like it to get a little toasty. You like it toasty? When the water starts to boil, which is gonna boil very shortly, I'm gonna put in some linguine. My uh, Grandchildren like it. My daughter-in-law made it for them a couple of weeks ago because my son must have asked her for it or I don't know why, but anyway. So now they wanted me to make a video, my grandson in particular. Nanny, why don't you make a video of all your oil with the breadcrumbs? I said, okay. So here we are. So here's the breadcrumbs. Like I said, I like it, the bottom to get a little bit toasty. This is a kind of a lot because it's just going to be for me and my son. But now everybody heard I was making it and they want some. So I made a little extra. Breadcrumbs does, don't go bad. All right. So I'm putting it here on the side. cooling off. And now, here's the garlic and parsley. I'll be back in a minute when it's ready to go. I'm throwing a, a pound and a half, because there's like five of us. And uh, this takes seven minutes. I like my pasta al dente, so Seven minutes for spread for linguine. There are other pastas that might take a little longer. And in the meantime, I have the oil and the parsley here. The oil and the parsley. And I have my breadcrumbs here. All right. 
Alrighty. And when the pot, woo! When the pasta's done. Actually, you know, we used to call it macaroni when we were kids. We never called it pasta. And it was macaroni. Ugh. Pasta, sauce. Everybody fights about it. If you said sauce when we were in East Harlem, they look at you like you had three heads. It was gravy. Gravy. Anybody in East Harlem or Brooklyn would know it was gravy. So, when the linguine is ready in about six minutes, seven minutes, I'll be back to show you how I put all this together. Okay, so the linguine is done. I'm gonna take it out. You don't have to strain it because you're gonna use some of the pasta water from here. I'm gonna take it all out. And we're gonna add some pasta water. 10 minutes this dinner is, 10 minutes. I'm looking at the boxes of pasta and I'm remembering my grandmother. Years ago, Ronzoni used to have coupons on the side of the boxes. And my grandmother used to, she could hardly see, she was so blind. She used to get the box like this and try to see the coupons and try to cut them out. And she was like, you know, she wasn't that old, but years ago, people looked older than they actually were, or we're starting to look younger, one or the other. Okay, so here's the oil and the garlic and the parsley. I put it on the whole thing, and I take a ladle of pasta water. And here you go. All right, so I'm gonna take some out for my dish. Some people don't like the breadcrumbs on it. I love the breadcrumbs on it. That's plenty for me and beautiful. And then I take the breadcrumbs, sprinkle, a little bit on top and there you go I was telling what you call that are you all your oregano that's a pretty name I hope you try it it's simple easy delicious great Friday night meal especially during Lent Lent is coming up here you go